Mary set out proceeding in haste into the hill country to a town of Judah where she entered Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby stirred in her womb. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and cried out in a loud voice, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby stirred in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who trusted that the Lord's words to her would be fulfilled. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned home. The essence of love is action. Hi everybody, this is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans. I'm going up to that place where the visitation happened. Mama Mary visiting Elizabeth. Let's go. Hi, catching my breath. That's where I came from. Where, you, where, the, where the camera came from, that's where I came from, uphill. And this is the summer house of Zechariah and Elizabeth, and this was where the visitation took place. Mama Mary went up, where, you know, that, that uphill climb. But not only this one, she came all the way from Nazareth. You know where Nazareth comes from? I came from Nazareth. It, I took a bus, in an air-conditioned bus, over smooth pavements, about four-hour drive from Nazareth, to here, uh, very near Jerusalem. Four hours by bus, Mama Mary walked about four days through rugged wilderness and by foot just walking. Can you just imagine Mama Mary, she would be about, what, 14 years old and traveling alone. She was pregnant at that time. You can just, just boggles my mind. You know, she would sleep in the desert night alone. And there were a lot of... Uh, there were a lot of uh, not-so-good men in the desert, but she braved all that, risked all that to love. And sometimes when I think about that, I'm ashamed of myself because I say, I love you, I love you. <laughs> I write it in cards, love, Bo, you know. I, I say, dear friend, and I, but then I realize how empty that word is without action. Mama Mary did not serve her Elizabeth her cousin Elizabeth, um, just because, you know, she'd be in the newspaper one day. Uh, this is a good deed of, of Mary, of Nazareth. Um, there was no PR. There was no photographs. She just wanted to love. And here I want to share with you a very simple message. If you love, it has to be expressed in action. Simple, down-to-earth, concrete action. Sweat in the forehead, aching muscles, action. That's what love is all about. And if you really love, you're going to do a lot of action. You're going to do a lot of love. If there are hungry people around you, what will you do? If there are kids that need to be, that, that, that can't go to school because they have no money. If there are abandoned people on the streets right now, and what will you do? Brothers and sisters, that's what we've been doing in Anawim. 
our ministry for the abandoned elderly. That's what we've been doing in uh, He Cares, our ministry for street children under Jodine Sola. That's what we're doing with our scholarships for poor children with Ray Ortega. That's what we've been doing. You know, we've been doing, we've been trying to express our love through action. It has to be through action. It can't be just, you know, Lord, uh, bless these people. Bless you. God bless you. I love you. And that's, that means nothing if they will not feel and experience the action of your love. So you pray with me now and you ask God, what should I do? to love. What should I do to be able to serve? Pray for the wisdom, the will of God. Pray pray for God's voice, that you hear His voice in the depths of your heart, that you hear what He wants you to say. Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, you need to guide me. I, I, I want to express my love through concrete action and service. Tell me how. Teach me. My heart is open. Help me, Lord. Do you want me to support financially a particular group or organization? Do you want me to visit someone? Maybe maybe there's somebody I know that needs love and care and help. Teach me how to do it, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, just this is is totally out of the topic, but I just want to insert this in. Someone told me, Brother Bo, why, why, why aim to be rich? You know, shouldn't we be just content with where we are? Shouldn't we just be simple and, you know, be happy with... And I, I say, yes, you have to be simple. You have to be content with where you are. But you know why I want to be rich? And why I teach people to be rich? It's because it's not for you. I have such a great burden for people who are hungry and sick and dying and in the streets. And, and you know, 70% of the Filipinos, the, the population of the Philippines is poor. How can I just stay where I am and be happy with where I am? Oh, I can I eat three meals a day. I'm happy with where I am, you know. How can I do that? I can't. And, and one of the ways I, I will serve them is by being the best entrepreneur I can be so that I could give jobs to people, so that I could serve my customers. And here's number three, so that I, I could increase my income, so that I could serve more through action. Because love is defined by action. Hallelujah. This is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans here in the site of the visitation of Mama Mary to Elizabeth. And if you want to support this ministry, feel free to do so. Log on at www.kerygmafamily.com and you will do, well, something, at least a, a very concrete action of supporting this ministry that supports the poor, the poorest of the poor, in very concrete ways. And uh, log on also at www.bosanchez.ph to receive my weekly inspirational soul food letter to strengthen your soul every week. Hallelujah. It's so good to be here, brothers and sisters, and I'll see you tomorrow. so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigma family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.